Good morning to all of you. Welcome back again in online class. This is the video of your computer class, chapter one, part ten. Okay. So in the previous part, we see that about that the secondary memory and the examples of the secondary memory like hard disk, CD, DVD, pen drive, or flash drive. Today we start from memory card, and I hope today your chapter one will be completed. okay so i requested to all a student when this chapter is completed okay all of you read the book from a starting point to last topic by topic and if you any type of doubt ask your doubt in the comment section this is very important to all of you please read the book please okay now without waste the time come to the point memory card which is given on page number 7 memory card is uh, also a storage device in which you store any type of data like a photo like audio like video now come to book memory card is a smaller in size the size of the memory card is just very smaller compared to hard disk compared to cd compared to dvd compared to pen drive this is very small in size like that very small in size memory card okay but can store photo audio video and data files it is used in various electronic devices like mobile phone some students some parents are used memory card in the mobile phone you can see that the uh, the memory card in your mobile phone which used to store the data okay now to conclude the following table list to the different difference between the now the next page page number 8 this is the table 1.3 you all learn this table this is very important if the questions like that in the examination what is primary memory what is the difference between primary memory and secondary memory so read out that table 1.3 this is very important to all of you got it now come to table 1.3 primary memory primary memory has limited temporary storage device that means the size of the primary memory is not much more and the storage is temporary that means it cannot store the data life time got it but in secondary memory has huge permanent storage capacity as compared to primary memory that means it used data much more than primary memory like a ram give 2 gb memory but a secondary memory used 28 gb hard disk in which you store the data which can used permanent when you want to require the data you can access it the second is difference is that primary memory is directly accessible by cpu okay in the previous part we already discuss about that the primary memory in deep so it is a brief description about the primary memory and the secondary memory okay now secondary but secondary memory is not directly accessible by cpu okay that means it have a hard disk which is present inside the cpu in which you store the data in computer next the two parts of primary memory have changing nature the ram and rom which is already discussed in the previous part so if you not aware about the ram and rom please see the part 6 and part 7 got it otherwise secondary memory is always non volatile in nature next part the primary memory device ram and rom are usually affixed on the motherboard inside the computer that means is before that you can buy it's firstly arranged in the motherboard of your computer system got it otherwise secondary memory are the device that present inside or outside the computer if you not want to store a sec um, secondary device in your 
computer in your mobile you cannot use it no problem so you can see that this is a pen drive you can store a data 16 db so i can use it in a laptop in a computer a different purpose it can easily say um, transfer the data from one computer to another computer but this is the example of secondary memory that, that means it can by myself that i can use it or not but primary memory it's compulsory to use in each and every computer got it so these are the four difference about the primary memory and secondary memory after that your chapter is complete now on page 9 this is this what process it solve this if any type of doubt after complete this book you can ask in the comment section then a bookmark box in which some definitions are like data information primary memory cpu ram rom secondary memory and refresh so learn this point these are the key points which are given on page number 9 why the book are given the box like that because these are the important points to recall okay so learn it this is very important to all of you after that we can solve the exercise part then we start the next chapter chapter 2 but before that i complete to all of you i requested to all of you to please complete chapter 1 in your copy in your computer copy and learn this all topic and please any type of doubt comment your doubt please this is very important to all of you okay so thank you we will meet in the next part with exercise question answer then we start chapter 2 thank you we will meet in the next part goodbye